They're testing out a new camshaft that Cooter installed for them so they can win the Hazard County Derby. Little do they know that their day is going to be filled with a whole lot of trouble. Luke, Cooter said he wanted the new camshaft broken in, not broken. Sorry, Bo. Cooter fixed the general real good. And the sooner we get to Hazard Pond and catch some fish, the quicker we can get back home. You got it, cuz. Hit it. Uncle Jesse and Daisy. Uncle Jesse is the head of the Duke family. If y'all wonder where he get all that gray hair from, well, it's from Bo and Luke. Jesse Duke is the family patriarch. You're gonna love old Jesse. He's quite a study. He's a retired moonshiner and he's very religious. And Daisy is Bo and Luke's cousin. She drives like Richard Petty, shoots like Annie Oakley, and knows all the words to Dolly Parton's songs. Last year, when Bo and Luke got caught on a whiskey run, Jesse swallowed a lifetime of pride. He signed a treaty with the U.S. Bay government to stop making whiskey if Bo and Luke could get probation. You see, he loved them boys better than life itself, but sometimes they really made him wonder why. Cooter Davenport, the finest mechanic in Hazard County. In fact, he's the only mechanic in Hazard. If Cooter's not up to his elbows in grease and oil, he's helping Bo and Luke get out of trouble, and sometimes get them in trouble too. He may not be a blood relative of the Dukes, but he sure is a true member of the Duke family. everything to boss because he married his fat sister. Because of that, when boss orders him to nail the Duke boys on any kind of trumped up charges, Roscoe will stop at nothing to lock them up. Enos is Roscoe's deputy and the most honest deputy in the South. Enos, Bo, Luke, and Daisy all grew up together. Enos has a huge crush on Daisy. And trust me, folks, 
Bo and Luke use that to their advantage. Now these are the loans of the Harbors. They've been known to commit armed robbery, grand theft auto, and everything in between. They're so ugly that their driver's licenses are up the back of their heads. They're in hazard for a special meeting with Balls Hall. County Day. Uncle Jesse is gathering up hay for a poor widow lady. Daisy's just getting off work from the boar's nest. Cooter is out on a tow, and Bo and Luke are on their way home from fishing. Catch anything for supper tonight? No, Uncle Jesse, the fish weren't biting today. What's going on, Daisy? Well, I was closing the boar's nest down and overheard Boss and Roscoe laughing in the office, so I snuck over for a better listen. Now, Daisy, haven't I taught you to respect other people's privacy? Well, I know that, Uncle Jesse, but I heard them say the boys' names. What did you hear, Daisy? Nothing much other than it would be the biggest heist ever and they would pin it all on YouTube. Then they slammed the door and drove off like a bat out of hell. Daisy, I raised you better than that. Now watch your language. I'm sorry, Uncle Jesse. Looks like Boss and Roscoe are up to their old tricks again. So what are we going to do now? We'll just have to wait and see what he has up his sleeve besides that fat pink arm. Meanwhile, let's get back to doing what we should be doing, running a farm. Now you boys get the roo bottles and pick up that roll of screen and feed. I'm going to deliver some hay over to Widow Partridge. And Cooter, I saw some out-of-towners broke down on Woodchuck Road. Might want to stop by and see if they need a hand. Yes, sir, Uncle Jesse. I ain't your Uncle Jesse. Whoops, sorry about that, Uncle Jesse. I'm going back to the farm and start supper. All right, you all holler on the CB if you hear anything more. Okay, Uncle Jesse. All right, we'll keep an eye out for any trouble. Oh, and Daisy, the biscuits, don't burn them this time. Don't worry, I'll make sure I make them extra crispy for you, Bo.
Boss Hog is just about to start a meeting of his own. once and for all. Alex, give me that CB. gonna be? Well, it's gonna be 50% of 50% of 50%. Go, go. Wait a pee pick a minute, boss. That only leaves me with 2%. Yeah, but you're thinking of the net. I'm thinking about the gross. Go, go. I love it. I love it. Cletus works for the Chickasaw County Bank, and I happen to know he will be driving an unmarked car through Hazard County to Capital City. It's carrying over one million Samoans. Your boys' job is to hijack the car. And to top it off, we're going to pin it on the Dukes. Oh, I love it. I love it. But how are we going to do that? Come over here, boys. Give me a hand. The General Lee. How did you get her off the Duke boys? Roscoe, you're dumb enough to be twins. It's an exact di 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 All looks just like that orange punker car. With these two driving it, they will look just like the Duke boys. Go, go! I love it, I love it. Wait a pee pick a minute. They don't look anything like the Duke boys. They'll look just like them wearing these. I love it, I love it. You guys have half an hour to be at Clover Crossing to hijack the car. Now remember, Cletus is my cousin. We don't want anyone hurt. Just get the money. Well, that'll be up to Cletus. Oh, and Hog, don't even think about double crossing us. Because if you do, no more Boss Hog. And there'll be one less sheriff, too. Ooh. Junior, me and Billy Boy, we'll take care of the robbery. You get back to the hideout and make sure we got a way out of town and all our stuff is ready to go. And if anyone tries to stop you, including them dukes, you know what to do. Good luck, boys! Go, 
and have a nice hijack. Go! <laughs> are going to get out of this one. Order right there! Get out of the car! Where's the money? What money? The money we're going to use to pay for your funeral! Oh, that money! It's in the back! Get the money! Alright, on your knees. Count to 100 real nice and slow. One, two, three. Call Roscoe P. Coltrane, come in, Sheriff. What is it, Cletus? The Duke boys just hijacked me at Clover Crossing and they took a million dollars in cash. Take four, Cletus. Buckle up for safety flash. We're in hot pursuit. Well, if I didn't know any better, I would have thought that was Bo and Luke, too. Yeah, cousin boss, I'm okay. Now tell us exactly what happened. Yeah, and make it quick, Cletus. It's the boss's lunch hour. Bo and Luke just cut me off, hit me over the head, and stole all the money. You're not gonna believe this, cousin boss. They used the doors when they were getting away. Da -da -da! You dipstick. Now just forget about the whole using the door thing. You head back to Chickasaw County, and we'll wait here for Sheriff Little. Sure thing, cousin boss, I'll head back now. Roscoe, get on the CV and get Sheriff Little here on the dope. Call Sheriff Little. This is my county. I'm the sheriff here. Well, I'll get them two boys myself. This is Sheriff Roscoe P. Coltrane calling Sheriff Little. This is Sheriff Little. The Duke boys just hijacked the Chickasaw County Bank car over here on Clover Crossing. Get over here on the double. That's a big 10-4. I'm on my way. Friends and neighbors, I get plumb nervous anytime I see Sheriff Little and Hazard. getting yourself into, getting myself into, as long as you're getting a cut of the take, it's us. Ugh. 
Now that's an attention getter. Commissioner Hogg and Coltrane, what are you two up to now besides Rodman Hazard County Blind? Chad Little, how long have you been standing there? Listen here, Sheriff Little, we're on an official police business. Cow chips, there's nothing official about your business, Cold Brain. It's Cold Train, there's no brain in it. You can say that again. Sir, we called you in to assist the apprehension of Bo and Luke, otherwise known as the Duke Gang. Well, you're gonna stand there all day or tell me what happened? Well, ask the boss. He planned it. Da -da -da -da. Roscoe, hush. Let me do all the talking. Well, my cousin Cletus works for your bank. The Dukes hijacked him and took all the money. They were last seen headed out County Line Road. I'll get a state why they be on the Duke boys in their orange car. And when I catch them, I'll send you back to pieces. Let's head back to the hideout and make sure the Hopper boys don't double cross us before we can double cross them. I love it. I love it. I know, Roscoe. Let's go. This is Chickasaw County Sheriff Little. Sending out an APB on Ball and Luke Duke. They are driving an orange 69 Charger with the Confederate flag on top and the zero one on the doors. <laughs> the APB on the CB that Sheriff Little put out, so Luke decided the best thing to do was head to Chickasaw to talk to Gladys. I reckon that wasn't a good idea, because now they're in Sheriff Little territory. Hijacking? What does he mean by that, cuz? I don't know, Luke, but if we don't lose Sheriff Little, we're gonna be spending a long time in jail. I'm warning you, boys. Hold on, Luke, and a General Lee. Pull over now before you make me mad. You need to step on it, Luke. He's right on our tail. You both are under arrest for hijacking. If you don't lose them, Uncle Jess is going to tan both of our hides. Hold on, Luke, and a General Lee. Hold on. I'm warning you, boys. Why don't we cut down Cedar Creek Road? We can lose them there. Sounds good, cuz. Step on it. Over. 10-4, Uncle Jesse. Be careful. 
damn, looks like we picked up a tail. Yeah, not just any tail. I think it's one of them dukes. If he catches up to us, our cover's blown. Well, if you can get this piece of junk moving and hold it steady, I'll get one good shot at this tire. All right, hang on. shooting brother let's get back to junior and count the money good idea boy i hope uncle jesse's all right looks like bo luke daisy and cooter showed up just in time to help now i don't usually worry about bo luke but i just plum hate it when daisy or jesse are in danger Jesse, are you okay? I'm roughed up a little bit, but I'll be okay, God willing. Uncle Jesse, what happened? I thought I was following you boys until they started shooting and shot my tire out. What made you think it was us? They were dressed like you boys, and they were driving the General Lee. Uncle Jesse, we've been in the General Lee all day. That's right. Sheriff Little just tried to arrest us for hijacking. That's right. They were in Chickasaw County. They were having troubles of their own. This must have something to do with that heist that Daisy overheard Boss and Roscoe talking about. Boy, I'm so mad when I get my hands around Boss Hog, I'm gonna... You're gonna do nothing of the sort. When you start acting like your enemies, what makes you any better? Do you understand me? Yes, sir. Looks like the good Lord was looking over you, Uncle Jesse. I ain't your Uncle Jesse. Well, while you guys are figuring out your next move, I'm taking Uncle Jesse to Doc Applebee's. Let us know what the doc says. I sure will, Luke. And I'll make sure he gets the proper care and that he doesn't sweet talk any of the nurses. Nothing to worry about there. Miss Tisdale will surely find out and I'll never hear the end of it. There they are, Roscoe. Arrest those hijacking dudes. Go oh, we got so much evidence against the boss, we can put him under the jail. Now you just freeze. Roscoe, you gotta be out of your mind treating people this way. We ain't no dogs. Roscoe, we're not gonna stand for this. You're setting us up. JD, I'm not gonna stand for you messing with my boys. Jesse, you old goat, hush. Roscoe, you're not gonna arrest my cousins, are you? You're gonna get me so upset, I'm gonna faint. Lights out, boss! Oh, get to the general! Roscoe! I can't see! Daisy! Jesse! 
Take you off me. Roscoe, can't you see the lady fainted? Roscoe, they're getting away. Let's get after them, you lug nut. Anus, you dipstick. Get after them. Fanner with your head, Uncle Jesse. Cooler, I'm not your Your Uncle, Uncle Jesse. Jesse, I know. Buckle up, Flash. We're in hot pursuit. By now, Boss Hog and Roscoe are already counting their money, and they don't even have their hands on it yet. We'll just have to sit back and see how this turns out. and take that fake General Lee down to the gravel pits and blow it to smithereens. That wasn't part of the deal, fat man. I was thinking, since the sheriff hasn't caught the real Dukes yet, maybe we should just keep that car so we can run this heist again. And I don't see any reason to share this money. My money! Roscoe, do something! All right, you double-crossing crooks. Ooh, did you need any help carrying that money to the car? Nah, we'll be fine. Tie him up, Billy Jean. You two, get over there now. You won't be needing this gun, Sheriff. Ooh, careful with that. That's your pearl handle. Oh, Roscoe, I can't believe you got us into this mess. Me, boss? It was your big plan. Shut up. Ooh. How about we use this dynamite to blow the bridge on the way out of town? I got an even better idea. We use that dynamite to blow up the real General Lee. Good idea. Let's get back to the hideout, get Junior, and let's get the hell out of this county. Roscoe! They're getting away! We have to get the Dukes to help us or I'm ruined! You know, boss, you just can't find an honest crook anymore. Roscoe, give me that CB! Call Duke Boys. Boy and Luke. JD Hall calling 
Oh, bone loop two. You got Bo Duke here. This filthy no good double crossing hijack stole my stolen money. Where are you at, boss? I'm tied up to this jackass of a sheriff's car. I hit Miss Bond. Somehow that doesn't surprise me. Are you ever gonna learn, boss? We're on our way. Ain't that just like Bo and Luke? Even though Boss and Roscoe tried to frame them and lock them up, they're still willing to help them get out of trouble. Uncle Jesse taught them that. Crosses are getting away with all that money, and they're heading out of town. So let me get this right, boss. You built a fake General Lee and hired a couple phonies, and you want us to help you? All right, boss. We will help you if you promise to drop all charges against me and Bo. But, 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 but. Well, Bo, we can leave them here. Let those bad guys get farther away. Okay, fine. You catch them, and I'll drop all the charges against you dupes. You know, Luke, I think you're forgetting one thing here. I think Boss here should have to pay for the repairs on Uncle Jesse's truck. So, Boss, do we have a deal? You dudes sure drive a hard bargain, but okay. You got yourselves a deal, but only if you catch them double-crossing crooks. All right, let's cut them loose. All right, which way did they head, Boss? They went out Snake Nation Road. You get them double crosses. Yeah, we'll get them, boss. All right, let's hurry up. Let's get after him and join the chase. We got to get all my money back before Chef Little gets it. Folks, looks like the General Lee caught up to the Harbor Boys. I sure hope both of them are careful. Remember, they wanted to blow up the General Lee with a stick of dynamite. Hang on tight, y'all. Things are about to get heated up. Friends, I think Bo has about five seconds before that dynamite explodes. Y'all hang tight now. Shot left. Well, dang it, Luke, if you'd hold the general steady.
ain't seen the last of us, Hog. We'll be back to get you and you dukes. Naturally, Boss tried confiscating the money for himself until Sheriff Little stepped in and gave it back to Cletus. To keep from being locked up with the Harbor Boys, old Boss decided it would be best just to turn state's evidence against them and to drop all charges against Bo and Luke. The boys wanted to keep the phony General Lee for parts, but Sheriff Little had it impounded for evidence. For the Dukes, this is just another typical day in Hazard County. Y'all come back now, you hear? To be continued.